I bet you're wondering how we have iron ingots automated. You're definitely going to want to watch this video because we go over the whole process. All right, dudes and dudettes. Yeah, we're going to be getting into some cobblestone production stuff today. But uh, we've done a bit of work since last video. As you can see, I finished the house out here, started building up around the bottom of the windmill factories. And then we've got a full collection system here for our tree farm, which has been doing fan freaking tastic. So those saplings down at the end come all the way down here now. We're no longer wasting them, so we bring them up top here. Uh, they come around, and then they get brought up here again, and then they drop down and get filtered through these chutes. Um, so as you can see, we've got quite a bit of wood. I've done quite a bit of AFKing over here. A couple people have been by when I've been off the server, so you know the tree farm has been running then. So yeah, very, very happy with how this thing turned out. And then I also did something else. I added the overlay or the light overlay mod. Um, as you can tell, my frame rate is suffering a little bit. But this will tell us where all of the dark spaces are. Uh, now, you don't see any right now. You would see like the yellow X's like we normally would, but I've got everything lit up pretty good over here. So let's have a look. We might see, yeah. So we've got some over there, as you can see, the light overlay mod is installed and amazing. I'm, I think I've put like 12 stacks of torches down or something crazy like that. But yeah, we're going to be working on these, or really just one of these. Today. I'm going to be working on this left one. And I don't really know how we're going to be doing the entrance. Uh, we may end up putting the entrance on one of the sides here, but I'm pretty sure for like temporary, I'm going to have it here. Now I have moved the... Um, Wow, what are these guys called? The Mechanical Crafters. I've moved these guys over here. They're not using up a whole lot of our stuff. I mean, not even a 1,000. We've got, you know, 7,500 left. Um, but what we're going to be doing is taking this here. We're going to split it off into two ways and then move it down this line so that we can start, uh, like, uh, getting a cobblestone, like, system getting, like, made. Words are hard. So, yeah, we're going to need to go ahead and actually make up a second mechanical drill. Now, this thing is super easy to craft, uh, if I can remember how to do it. One, two, three. Perfect. All right. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Another mechanical drill. So, we are going to be setting up two different cobblestone generators over there. One is going to filter down directly into a chest, and the other is actually going to go into some crushing wheels, the ones that we made a while back, so that we can make some uh, gravel and start to automate uh, some iron production, which is super duper cool. I don't know if we'll get to that today, uh, but we're definitely going to be getting to it within the next couple episodes. All right, so we're going to grab some glass here. Also going to grab some cobblestone for those temporary blocks. All right. We're going to need to grab some more of those. Where are they? The Yes, the gearboxes. Perfect. And then we're going to grab some more of these cogwheels just so that we can make things a bit faster. Also going to grab some shafts. And we should be good to go now. Um, Special thanks to our friends over at MC Pro Hosting for sponsoring our modded and vanilla fan servers. You can play on those free of charge by joining our Discord server, link in the description down below. If you need a server in the future, I highly recommend MC Pro Hosting. Use code TURTLECLUB in the checkout to get 50% off your first month. More details in the description below. Alright, so we're going to split this guy off right away. Bring one coming over here. And... Actually, we want them on this guy. Perfect. We're going to put a gearbox here. And then we are going to run this guy all the way down as far as they'll go. Okay, so we're just going to run it there for now. That's going to tell us, hey, this is where we need to put it. Uh, because the, the crushing wheels... We're going to start from this end. And now my intention is to have this entire thing, like every block space, like, like you'll have uh, a drill and then, whoa, wait a second. Yeah. So you have a drill, a, a space, a drill, a space, a drill, a space, a drill, a space, a drill, like, like a whole bunch of drills going all the way down. Now we might have to get some help from a furnace generator, but we should be able to automate that pretty easily. Uh, so what we're going to do is get our vertical boy. 
And we're gonna place him right here. And then we will take the mechanical drill. That thing is working. Now it's not super duper fast, but it'll get the job done. And now we need to create just a simple um, farm. So if I use my boomerang, it's got silk touch. And I can get one of those glass blocks back. So there we go. All right. Um, so if the water goes there, we actually want the water to go here and fall down there and do that. Perfect. Oh, can't, can't, can't jump that high, dude. Okay. And so then if we put the water here and then we take the lava and fire tick is off on our server. So we can put the fire that there. There we go. And so that will get mined. Mm hmm look at that there we go we have got our cobblestone generator so then we take our other dude and because it doesn't really matter if this which direction this is going it's going to stop for a second then it'll go again so now we can have both of those guys they're going to be alternating ways so it'll look kind of cool you know that's a positive that's kind of neat how neat is that that's pretty neat There we go. All right, we're gonna put this here temporarily. Oh, I mean, that'll work. Okay, we'll mine these guys. We will put another glass block here. We'll break this dude and this dude. I keep forgetting I have the silk touch. I'm being lame. Okay, so now we can put the other water source right here. Now, we could make this easier, you know, and put, like, one water source here and have it flow, but, nah, we're not going to do that. All right, so now we got two different cobblestone generators going. Now we need to work on getting one of these set to some crushing wheels, and I think the furthest back ones are going to be our best friend, maybe. Um... We may need we may need to put a um, a vertical gearbox there and then run another one down so we can get the power down here. How are we doing on this, by the way? Because I would like to speed it up if possible. Uh, oh yeah, we're doing good. We're not even using, we're not even using two hundred of what we were using before, so we're good. We are good. All right. Whoa. Okay. So we need to build these one back. Ooh, maybe, um, maybe one down. Like, so here maybe? Yes. Okay. Do those spin each other? I don't think they will. If it's that easy to get that thing going, I'm gonna be a little salty. Okay, so let's work on now getting power to it real quick. We need to make some more of these gearboxes real fast. Okay, so I've got a few different gearboxes here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do what I was talking about earlier. And throw the boomerang. Yeah, that is not what I was talking about earlier. Uh, so we're going to put a gearbox here to do that. Yep, power is still going through. Perfection. Okay, and then we're going to bring this over here and go down with it. Because we are down with the sickness. Okay, so we're going to put this here. Okay, that does stop the water. Perfect. If not, there are alternative ways we could have done that. All right, so now we're going to come hither. And then vertical. This is going to get a little messy. Hmm. Okay, so that's not going to be that easy, huh? 
So you'll probably be able to, you know, move this over and then have these guys go straight down so we can come across here. <laughs> it's going the wrong way. Ah, so now we gotta do this. Put this gearbox there. So now it's going the right way. Okay, so it's working. Okay. So now we have automated gravel. Um, now this is definitely not the final method. We're just testing this out. So now we need to make an, in an encased fan for those guys. We're also gonna go ahead and see if we can do something about the cobble. So we've gotta get a block placed on top of here. Okay, we got that one. Okay, so that should work. So if I break this one, we'll have cobble and gravel sitting down here. Yep, there we go. That guy's getting crushed. Now the faster that we have it going, the faster we make it. So we're gonna put the gear ratio changes over here. Uh, we can go ahead and do one. We're going to put one up here real quick. All right. So this is about to become a small gear. Um, can I get up there, please? Please. Or not. All right. So small gear. Then we're going to have a larger gear here. Now, it will be slower temporarily, but then we're going to have a shaft here, small one, and then we're going to break these two and have a big one. Perfect. So now the RPMs are up. We're moving a lot faster, though we are going to be using a lot more um, uh, stress units if we make it this much faster. So let's take a look. How are we doing? We're now at 64 RPMs, but we only we're using over half of what we've got here. So we're definitely going to need to do some other things. But now we should be producing this stuff much quicker. So to make the iron ingots, uh, if we look here, iron sorry iron nugget, we need to do bulk washing of gravel, and it gives us a 12% chance to get an iron nugget. So this literally means that it's free we don't have to do anything so we're gonna go ahead and make one of these real quick and get that rolling all right so we need to go ahead and make the propeller and then to make the propeller here uh, we just need four sheets of iron and then one of the andesite ingots cool thing is is i moved the smusher over here i'll show you guys in just a moment uh but he's chilling in here now underneath this depot so all we gotta do is just click that now and then this guy smashes it up for us, our little mechanical press. All right, so we got the four iron sheets that we needed. We have a crafting table here, so we can go ahead and make that propeller. Beautiful encased fan. Now this is the first one of these I've ever made. Uh, and now I do know we need to make a few pressure plates and we're gonna need to grab some water so that we can wash it. Now, the good thing is we're pretty much surrounded by water um, in every direction because, you know, we're, what the frick? This is an island. But, yeah, uh, it, it's going to be really neat because uh, hopefully we'll have some more buildings here. And then maybe we'll have some collabs with some of the other members. And, you know, having a specific building would be super cool that, you know, we, we build with them. So I'll be reaching out to the other members here shortly and seeing if we can get that set up for you, you cool peeps. So... <clears throat> Cool thing is we have all of this stuff already over here, so you know we don't have to run another encasing thing. But I've never used this encased fan before, um, so yeah, let's give it a try. That is not correct. What if I shift here? Yes. Okay. So the fan will blow. Oh shoot! Nope, we don't want it there. We want this one more back, actually like this because 
we'll have this, this, and this, and then the water there. And then when that rotates, it does cool things. Okay. So, gosh, this is going to be a gearbox mess again. Please forgive me if you guys are better at this than I am. I'm not very good. Oop, that's the wrong one. All right. Boom. Does that work? Is that washing? It's washing, but it's not going the right way. I want it to push it. I want it to push. I want you to push, not pull. Um, cool thing is we have the ability to change that. No! Yes! Now you get pushed! Look at that! We got our first iron nugget! Woohoo! Automation! We don't have to touch this at all! Freaking sick, dudes. So, I'm looking at this and I realize we don't need that. We don't need these big gears going around. We can save these for other things. They'll still work. Okay. Very cool. Um, so that is working. Um, need to find a way to pull out or to separate the items. I believe we can do that with shoots. You know what? I think we're just going to grab all of the items. Uh, oh, no, we need to filter it so that gravel is not put in. I believe we can set it so that it doesn't pull the gravel. Um, so we will need one smart shoot, and then we'll just put it right into a chest. Uh, but now if we go AFK, we now get wood and iron nuggets. Now, it's not the best thing in the world. We'll have to set up probably a mechanical mixer. Uh, I believe this works like a crafting table. Um, let's see here. If we go for the iron ingot. Ah, we need the packing. Oh, just a mechanical press and a basin. So we technically can do this. Uh, we just need the ability to filter real quick. So we need to make one of those electron tubes. I don't believe I have any more. And by the way, I found out that you can headbutt these. They get a little wonky. Can't headbutt that one. But, hey, look at that. They move. That's really cool. Okay, so back to this guy. We're going to grab some redstone. We just need seven. And then one quartz. Say you are. And... Uh, do we need eight redstone? I believe we need eight redstone. I miscounted. Yes, there you go. And then we're going to need some sandpaper. Oh, yes, I'm real sandy. Sandpaper. And again, one of the best things... Oops. One of the best things in this mod pack is sanding. I love it. It is amazing. Okay, so then the electron tube. Redstone torch and iron nugget. Good thing is, we don't need to craft an iron nugget because we already got some. We got three total. All right, so there we go. Redstone torch, and then that should allow us to make the electron tube. And then we just need a brass sheet. I need a sheet on the bed. You better not the sheet on the bed. Okay. Oh, we already got one of those. Cool. So we can go here. Smart shoot. There we go. Um, now, if I put gravel here, uh, if I grab my wrench, can we filter it? No attached fans. Okay, so it looks like we're only going to be able to pull iron nuggets. Can we use flint for anything useful? A stone sword. Nope, not, not arrows. That's pretty good. Um, but we can... There is a skeleton. Ooh, we can make andesite with flint. Okay. Darn. Okay, so looks like... 
we are going to have to just pull one of the items, which is going to be iron nuggets. That's what we're, we made this farm for. If we want flint in the future, we can do something else. I am worried, though, that it might make the server a little bit laggy. So we will see how many items, how many pieces of flint we make in five minutes is really the, the key factor here. Do you guys ever drink so much water? That like you can't breathe or you, you eat, you fill up your stomach so much that you have like a hard time breathing, like getting a full breath in. Ugh, that's how I've been feeling lately. I got this uh, 64 ounce water bottle uh, for my birthday. It's fan freaking fantastic, dudes. But I drink so much water now, it's like not that funny. Okay, so iron nugget. And we will put the chest here. Okay. All right, so I'm watching it here for when it makes some iron nuggets, and we got one. Okay. So, yep, it is working. Um, this is 100% automated. We need, to, we need to put these guys into a chest. Uh, we can just do this, actually, and it'll fill it up for us. Uh, the reason we're making cobblestone is eventually we are going to set this up with lava and it will uh, create st uh, stone for us so that we can automate stone bricks and we can really get building. Uh, but for the meantime, I don't know if we're able to, but we're going to try. Can we put one here and it'll still work? Yes. So we're going to put two of these guys going... Two cobble generators. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna need to use normal hoppers for those then. Okay, no big deal. We can we can still make that work. Uh, hoppers are good at transferring items vertically, and that's all we need to do. Okay, so we only need two hoppers. We'll have three just in case, and then we'll put these going vertical, but then we'll have two cobblestone sources going in. We could even add in a third, and then it'll just be grinding up all of that gravel, you know, making more iron for us. Though we do have to know that we're going to be processing more, and it could cause some more lag, so i got to be careful uh, with that. I don't know if we got all these iron nuggets from doing this, but maybe we did. Who knows? Okay. So hopper here, and hopper there. Okay, so yeah, we are doing, it's doing two gravel now. It is washing it as it's going. I don't know if this makes it any better, uh, but it looks like the... That's there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think we can, unfortunately. But we are getting quite a bit of iron nuggets, so these are gonna fill up with iron nuggets. I'm gonna go AFK for a while, see how much of this stuff we're able to produce. Uh, definitely gonna light up the area. Oh, geez. Look at all the mobs that we're gonna spawn. Um, I think if we do this, we'll get more use out of that torch. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Thank you.
Okay, guys, so I've got a much, much, much better method of uh, this whole process. Don't worry about those two blocks right now. We don't need to worry too much about those. But, guys, this is uh, tileable, so we can continue this down the line as much as we want. Very cool. Let me get up top there and show you how it's working. I do plan on lining this entire side with it, maybe even this side if we can. So we have these uh, vertical gearboxes going along. Uh, now that kind of worries me a little bit, not going to lie. We're just going to do that real quick. Uh, very important that this goes down past because uh, if we have a block here, it will flow on top of the chute and then turn the or uh, put the, the cobblestone one block far one two back or something like that so yeah just leave, leave it going this is my design you know pretty cool we have our lava going down here and then going into uh the crushing wheels which are glitched are not glitched but halfway into the block uh and so we take our thing our our power here we split it going up and going down one up this actually worked out perfectly for us because we need to go up one block and then over and then go down that one does have an extra gearbox just because we need it to spin the opposite direction, not the same way on each of them. Uh, and then I would like to speed this up. We'll work on something to speed this up later. We might do a little like branch off, like maybe come here and up and maybe see if we can get that to go double the speed. So we're really mining the cobblestone fast, but that'll be for a later episode. And then back here, we're probably just going to cover this with glass for the, the lighting effect. And now we can't fall in because I'm really good at that. Uh, but yeah, so we have all of this gravel being produced. That's great and all, but I don't have anywhere, anything to do with it yet. So that's what we're doing over here. We're actually going to have this collecting underneath. Uh, so I want to go ahead and do this with you guys on camera. So we do have the encased fan here and the weighted pressure plates. So that is fantastic. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to mine this out just a wee bit. And then, yes, we're going to be pushing, pushing the blocks through there. So they'll go in front of this casing. And we'll do this in a pretty cool way. Uh, we are going to need some vertical gearboxes and some shafts. So we're going to bring this out by one and then go down with it because we're down with the sickness. Bam. Then we'll come over and do that. No. Oh, I did, didn't do a vertical version of that. There we go. That's pulling it. No worries. I don't know why I mind that one. There we go. Now it should be pushing. Perfect. All right. So those are going to get purified once they go into there. I believe we have the ability to just kind of drop these guys straight into the water. This won't be um, dirt. For a while okay so it is working but it's kind of slow now we do have a way to improve the speed of that but we should be fine now if we run this over another conveyor belt we will be able to filter out the items which is something i think is going that's going to be awesome um so, but we don't want it to pick up any gravel. But... Let's see. We may just be able to have another shoot here. Because it seems to be going really slow. So if we just have a chute here that grabs everything else, I think it will push. Let's see. Let's have a look. Will this reach far enough? Is that stopped? I think that's stopped. Okay, so we need to make the fan a little bit faster. 
Now we can do that with some cool gears, but we are gonna need to get some more space back here. And we are kind of crammed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna break these blocks here. Okay, and then do, 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 we need to have a vertical one here. Yep, vertical. Oops, did not mean to mine that far down. And then this guy. Oh, no. We need to reverse those. So maybe we come down a block. Okay, that seems to be working. And then if we do a vertical, that's going the wrong way. Okay, there we go. That seems to be working here. Okay, so those are getting washed by the time they're getting over here. So we are now collecting both of those. When they get turned into iron, they get put into this one. When they get turned into uh, the flint, they get put into this one here. Perfect, that worked out really well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, fill this in. Eventually, we will bring everything you know up on a conveyor belt. But now we can AFK in peace, knowing that everything is working. We can seal this in. Yep, because right there, right there is where it's turning into the the flint. So everything's getting picked up. We're not wasting anything anymore. Ah, that's a great feeling, and it looks pretty cool too. Now, I do think it, this has something to do with the slowness, but it seems to have worked out in our favor. And this is 100% automated. And co the cool thing about this new system, look at that. We're not even using, we're using just under 2,000 of those, and that's including this guy. So if we take this guy out of the equation, we just mine this dude here. Yeah, look at that. We're not even using 2,000 of the stress units. So we can very easily increase this by a lot. Now we probably will have to do something a little different um, because the, the bigger the stacks are, the longer they take to process. So right now this is the perfect time for this setup that we have here. But if we do add more of the gravel coming in, it won't be, it, it, this won't be able to work. Um, it'll have too many pieces of gravel here, so they won't turn into the different part, the, the different materials by the time it gets here. Uh, so we'll probably have to do something a little different, maybe while we're washing as they're going along or something like that. Maybe we'll have to see. I might get with another with some of the other members on the server who are a little bit more experienced. But yes, we have made this, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>